hi everyone welcome back to the channel today i'm trying to show you my city of abuja okay uh here's the thing abuja has uh, about six district or area councils and uh, i know a lot of time what we normally show is just the city center which is the amac itself and uh, today i decided okay why not show or share with you guys all the other area councils in abuja so that you guys can have an understanding what the city looks like and what it will be like if things are done the way they should be done all right today i'm in uh, guagualada area council and uh, today i'll be taking a drive around and showing you all the houses that are there and also explain to you guys why some things are the way they are all right i think it took about took us about 40 minutes driving take, driving from the uh, almost city gates to this place and uh well let's go let me show you guys what gogolada is about Gogolada Era Council was created on the 16th of October 1984 under the Kwali district of the former Abuja Emirate, now the Suleja Emirate. It had a population of about 158,000 as at the 2006 census and it was estimated that the population was going to grow by 6.26% by 2020 to 2025 or thereabouts, going to be one of the fastest growing population in Africa. From driving around and driving around the area council, as we can see, the city or the area council still needs a lot of work to be done. It needs for the roads to be constructed, for streetlights to be put in place, and for all the other things to be done. Just like the federal government, uh, the uh, federal government started building the road in Buari area council. I think Gogolada area council also need those kind of development to be able to open up the place. And I'm and I'm very sure. If the place is opened up with roads and everything done properly, that place will be 
big. It will blow. It will grow. Because a lot of people live in those areas. Because in the morning when you come out and you see the amount of calves coming in from that part of the, 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 the will I say the city, into the city center, you'll be amazed. Gawala Area Council, like just like uh, uh, Kubwa, has almost everything one need. They have police stations, they have fuel stations, they have banks, they have even a teaching hospital. They have a lot of things going for them. It's, it's so big and it's so, so self-sustaining that people, some people who live in that area council don't even come to the city. Some people live all their lives there. They do they buy and sell there. They do all their businesses there. They have no need for the city. So they stay there.
By the way, food and other stuff that one needs to survive are way cheaper there in Gwagwalada Area Council than in the city center. Tell some who cannot afford the high rent or the cost of rent of living in the city center, they decide to stay in those places and they're able to pay rent and live a life that is well. I mean, you don't have to kill yourself if you cannot afford to stay in, in, the, in the center of the city. As long as you're able to stay in a place where you have peace of mind, I mean, that is what life is all about in the first place. When it comes to owning a house or renting a property in the area council, it is way cheaper than owning a house or renting a house in the city center. A two bed or a three bedroom, as during my investigation, I found out that a three or two bedroom goes between two hundred to three hundred thousand, while a three bedroom goes between four to five hundred thousand per annum. But I also saw recently someone was telling me that a two bedroom that was built and f done properly was actually going for even 550,000. It actually means that things are going up there. But at the same time, it is way cheaper compared to what it is in the city.
we also took a drive to the old part of Gwagwalada Area Council, as you can see, where the houses are more clustered together. You have a lot of bike men, a lot of people selling wheelbarrow and all that. In those kind of places, people like this who don't earn much at all prefer to live in these kind of places because here they can rent a room or something like that, and which is way, way cheap so that they can be able to live their lives. I mean, they don't have to kill themselves. <laughs> you, if we cannot afford the, the the very expensive houses, like I would say, because those houses will be expensive for them, they they will be able to rent a room or something like that, and they live well.
so guys i really appreciate you guys watching this video thank you very much if this is the first time you're watching my video or you've watched my videos before and you've not subscribed to this channel it would be nice to have you as part of this family and if you want to support me i have a patreon page and recently i have the join button on youtube now you don't have to go too far if you want to support me there is a join button just underneath this video you can join to support me with whatever even up to 400 naira a month or five anyway you can check it out there are a lot of perks there are things you get by joining if you want to help me all right thank you for watching today's video all right see you guys follow me on instagram at big Wiz photography and big Wiz picture days see you guys in the very next video ciao Subscribe, like, share, comment, see you in the next one.